ubunini bw'ikigeragezo the bi, uh, the the bigger the trouble nibwo bunini bw'umugisha is the bigger the blessing yona ntabwo yamizwe ni ifi ntoya by a small fish yamizwe ni ifi twa baren he was swollen by a shark shark ni ifi nini it's a big fish ipima toni jana na 150 and it weighs 150 tons bunini bw'ikigeragezo the bigger the problem is the bigger the blessings. When David went to fight Goliath, they would see Goliath as death. You cannot understand how tall he was. He was three meters taller. He was like two meters long. The chest. He was wearing a coat of metals that were 70 kgs. The spear. There was a son who lived with a God of all comforts. God was a man. Hembura wa sore hembura wa gawo hembura wa gore hembura wa koga Duhimaraga dutumba gire dutumba gire dutumba gire Nagira ngo dusome ugwandiko gwa kabiri Paulo yandikiye abakorino Let's read in the second Corinthians Igice cha mbere umurongo wa gatatu no wa kane Verse chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 ugwandiko gwa kabiri Paulo yandikiye abakorino The second Episode that Paul wrote to Corinthians. Igiche chambere morongo waga tatu nuwakane. Chapter one verse three to four. Haravu gango. Hashimge imana yunga miwa chwe su Kristo ariona se aina yoda tava tuwe se wimbabazi ni imana nyiri humure Dios. Amen. Idu humure zamu makuba ya chwe se kugirango nato kutwa noko du humure za abari makuba ya se. Amen. The Bible says, Praise be to God, the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. He is the Father, the God of compassion and comfort. He comforts us in our troubles. So that we can give the comfort we have received by, from God. If they ask you, those who didn't come, if they ask you what did we learn? Tell them we learned that God is a God of all compassion and comfort. God is a God of comfort. God is a God of comfort. Hashimge imana yumami watu Yesu Kristo. Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Adiyonase. The Father, the Father of us all of compassion, is the God of all comforts. God takes something dirt and transforms it into a beautiful thing. God takes a broken thing something with no life and turns into a beautiful thing. In Romans it says to, uh, to those who love God everything compels all together to bring the goodness 
We are in the fellowship of the ones who love God. And to those who love God, even if they go through dirty things, in the valley called Baker, God can turn it into a spring, streams of water. And life flows. He's a God of all comforts. He gives us comfort that we can pass to others to those who love God. Everything compels all together to bring goodness. <laughs> Is that I'm concluding. He's the God of all comforts. He comforts us in all our troubles. For us to pass the comfort we have received from God. Jesus never promised us to never go through challenges and troubles. But he promised us the comfort within the challenges. What Christians differ from what who are not is because we have the hope of comfort and that comfort continues and we pass it to others. God can comfort you individually. God can comfort a family. God can comfort a country or a church. Our hope is that God gives comfort. Amen. I started with God takes a broken vessel and turns into a, 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 a comfort. I have been thinking the area of great region Burundi, Uganda, Congo Burundi, Rwanda, and DRC. When you see bad things that is happening around, I wonder what God will change into too. It's the foundation or the point of every curse of the world. It's the, the point of the brokenness of the fields. This area is the turning point of every bad thing. But where there is a lot of bad things, there is also abundance of grace more than any area. You see in Rwanda there was a genocide against Tutsi. In Congo it's still this issue. In Burundi they are still developing themselves. We can uh, uh, limit our eyes to what we see. Because as a church we should, uh, we should ask ourselves beyond what we see. What is God preparing beyond what we see? Let me give you an example of Israelites. When they went to Egypt, they went be, uh, someone went before them which was Joseph. Going to Egypt of Joseph, it was a bad thing. He was out of a family. Out of a family that loved him. He found himself in a very bad place. As I go quickly to the story of Jesus, when he met with his siblings who were coming to him, he said, you wanted to do bad to me, but God turned it to save so many people from dying. Even if going to Egypt was a bad thing, he gave life to 120 countries. The Egypt was an empire. People from different countries would come and he would feed them. 
Niki man zavyaza mu mibabaro yawe. What is will God turn into your sufferings? Ni mana nyiri humura. He's a God of all comfort. Iduhumuriza mu makuba yawe. He comforts us in all our troubles. Ah kugira ngo tuzatange ihumure twahawe ni So that we can pass the comfort we received from God. Nagira ngo muri riteraniro. I want us in this church. Naho ze ngusengera. I was praying for you. Nuko nange ni senge. As I will pray for myself. Imana iduhe kurenza amasi ibyo tureba. May God give us to look beyond what we see. And we hope for the comfort beyond what we see. The family of Joseph before they went to live in Egypt it was also a bad thing. Because they went in a bad condition of famine. People who did not go through famine may God be praised. One of the worst things that can happen to a person is hungry. hungry. I didn't come to teach you about hunger. But I was going to tell you about four types of hunger. When a Okay. Okay, no Ah, when someone is pregnant when he was he's hungry. Uh, when a person is pregnant when he's hungry, a, a, a child is born with hunger. When were you conceived? Were they full or hungry? And the second famine when a, a child is, uh, is uh, when a mother is pregnant of a child for um, nine yeah, months and um, a woman eats and he, she's not satisfied and she doesn't get food a, a child has the second type of family and the third one is when a child is not satisfied by breastfeeding. He needs something that uh, nutrition that accompanies the breastfeeding. Uh, and he doesn't get enough. A child has the third type of famine. And the fourth one is when a, a person is turning into adolescence. He or she loves to eat. When he doesn't get enough food, he has the fourth type of famine. The day I will come here with a table set here. I will know the people who ate but never satisfied. You see people putting a lot of food and the soap is getting out. Whenever he sees the food, he remembers of, of all the dates. He can never trust that he's going to be satisfied. And sometimes he puts on the food he can never finish because of the anger issues. I'm saying they went in a bad condition of famine. Let's talk about the bodily famine. And sometimes a person has a, 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 a and a person is hungry in mindset. And also a, a spiritual family. Those are four types of farming. You can be hungry in a normal way of a body. Or your emotions are hungry. You didn't get somebody to tell you sweet words. You have broken emotions. Or intellectual realm, you are hungry. You are hungry in intellectual realm. Or spiritual hunger. Decrease your judgments. If you do not know what the person has gone through. There is a way that something has been broke in uh, a certain way. They went in Egypt in a bad condition of famine. It was a bad thing. But God of all comforts, he was taking them for them to multiply. If they would have given the country when they were animals would have eaten them. 
we can also understand the reason why he's taking them in a bad condition. But they went out more than 2 million and 500 people. May God be praised. He comforts us in our troubles for us to give the comfort we have received from God. The time they started to multiply, Pharaoh turned his back on them. He started to kill the sons. Genocide started then. Because he's a loving God. The God of all comforts. He took one boy. Called Joseph. Moses. Called Moses. Uh, when he was not able uh, to be hidden. God took him to be raised by his enemy. When God wants to bless you, He will not use only the people who love you. As long as He wants to give comfort. Um, Moses quit Egypt. And he wants to look after the flocks that would not belong to him. I know you do not understand this. From the empire of Egypt, leading 120 countries, and you are a soldier to the that level. Moses has defeated Egypt when he was leading the uh, army. The person they were training to be Pharaoh of the next generation. He was humbled behind the service. And he wants to lead the flocks that do not belong to him in living in the tents. Living in the desert, when the desert is cold, it goes beyond zero degree. And he spent 40 years there. I don't know if you understand this. There is a person where there is a time when a person is humbled. When a person is humbled and humbled again, but in that humility, God is turning into that elevation, an elevation, an elevation. He's the God of all comforts. He comforts us in all our troubles. He gives the comforts that we have received from God. That desert. Moses. Learned to believe uh, in God. Uh, there is a place where a person is rich, and he stays here and goes alone. And he's the God of all comforts. And he stays with a God who can give comfort. The day he graduated. He went to see the burning bush. When God has come to complete all the education of Moses, the day to pass, God told Moses, I'm making you like God to Pharaoh. If we would have stayed in Egypt, the greatest one will be to lead Egypt. But he's going to go down like God to Pharaoh. He's the God of all comfort. He takes a person from a human level to a godly level. Do you know why the things we go through scare us? There is only one thing missing. There is, there is uh, only power of God is missing. Even if we are clothed in bodies, we do not fight like humans. The armies of our battle, they have power to break down all the world and to transform every thought to Christ. 
Ibimenyetso bizagendana nabize. And those are the five that will go with believers. They will lay hands to the sick and get demons. They will chase demons. Bazangwe ikintu cica naco kizabatwara na hato. They will eat things that eat them they will kill. They will lay their hands on the sick people they get healed. Amen. You came in a wrong time. There are people who had the power of God. There, there were people who had the power of God. One time when Joshua was fighting God and he See, uh, he told the sun to stop. And he told the moon to not lie. <laughs> he wanted to revenge. And God stopped the revolution of the earth. Because he had the power to, de to declare. We have the cloud, the pillar of testimony. Who works with the power of God. May God be praised of all comforts. Because he comforts us in our trials. So that we can give the comfort we have received from God. Moses came to Egypt. They knew it was uh, the same Moses who flee. They didn't know he was coming like God. And he told Pharaoh, let my people go. And he said, who are you to tell me this? You are a criminal, you have an issue here. And he took his stick. He turned, he turned into a, a, a snake. And Pharaoh smiled. Uh, he called his witch men. The witches from the North Pole. They were, uh, they were represented by the one called Jan. The one from the uh, South, they were represented by their person. They took all their sticks, they put them down, and they turned into snakes. God can, turn, can take a broken thing and mend it a beautiful thing. He's the God of all comforts. He comforts us in our troubles so that we can give the comfort we have received from God. I'm not in the emotions of Moses. But by the time he saw the, the, the sticks of the witches turning into snakes, I will ask him when I reach to heaven, didn't you feel scared somehow? If he didn't feel scared, and he, may, he might have said, you lied to me in the... You uh, were so powerful and you brought me here. But my time is coming. It might be possible. I'm just thinking. But when Moses was still in the same trouble, he didn't know what's next. He was meeting the bad thing. That snake of Moses stood up. He ate, it ate with it appetite. It ate all the snakes. He finished the, all the snakes. And most took his stick and continued. You cannot understand what God was doing. All the poison of the no, Egyptians no, were in the snakes. God was holding all the poison of Egypt. Because the next miracle, they said we can't do a thing. Because this is the hand of the Almighty God. There are times God delays to answer you because he's taking hold of everything that will trouble you. He could make you pass through things you do not like for you to have the word over the people who surprise you. Even if he goes you go to preach, you have to have hope. 
He's taking you to a better place. His plans are better on your life. May God be praised of all comforts. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can give the comfort we have received from Christ. God will never tell you all the things. God will never give explanations to you. Among the things that characterize him, he is independent. God is independent. God is independent. God will never give you explanations. You should learn submission. You should learn to submit under his feet. You be honest and sincere and say, I don't understand. I don't understand why I'm going through this. But I have my hope as your God of comfort. You comfort people in their troubles so that they give the comfort they have received. You. And the one who wrote his word is faithful. Whatever he says, he is faithful. Amen. Amen. The, uh, the, the bigger the trouble is the bigger the blessings. Moses was not. No, no, you're not. Jo Jonah was not swallowed by by a small fish. He was swollen by a shark. Shark. It's a big fish. And it weighs 150 tons. And when he was in the, in the belly, he found that it was like the church. And he said, I have and all the intestines were around him. And he said, if I do not pray, if I do not pray, if I do not pray, I love God. God put you in a certain place where you will see that you need him. Uh, the, uh, this, the bigger the size of a whale uh, is, the big, is the bigger the evangelization needs. Jonah is the only evangelist that I know who said it's only 40 days and then for me to be destroyed from the king to the knees they down they fasted <laughs> they prayed there, there is no any other evangelist who preached for the whole country in one day <laughs> The bigger the problem is the bigger the blessings. When David went to fight Goliath, they would see Goliath as death. You cannot understand how tall he was. He was three meters tall, taller. He was like two meters long. The chest. He was wearing a coat of metals that were 70 kgs. The spear weighed seven kilograms. He was going to fight a 16 year old boy who was never trained to be a soldier. But he had the power of Christ in him. He would stand He say to all Israelites we are all cowards and they would accept that they are cowards and they will go into peace. David came to them after 40 days when they were hiding in the cave. There was a, a son who lived with a God of all comforts. God was about to comfort him so that he can comfort others. Yes. As I go quickly, 
nubwo bamwe babona gori ubunini bwa gori ati bakabubona nk'ikibazo and they will see the big the size of goliath as a trouble but that gave opportunity to david yo kumuhamya ibuye to give him a stone. He will have stoned a small sized person. He could have but because he was a big man, he gave him an opportunity to give him a stone. What was the secret? He had the God of all comforts. Let me tell you the secret that David used. David ya dekara intambara mu izina y'Imana. He declared the war in the name of Jesus. Yabwiye yabwiye Gori ati nguje kuntera witwaje icumu. He said to Goliath you are attacking me with a spear. Ariko nguteye mu izina y'Uwiteka wasuzuye. I'm attacking you in the name of the Lord you you, you have despised. Mwijuru babwira Imana ngo hari umuntu gutanze. And in the heaven they said there is somebody who is giving you. Imana irangije kumi bishura. And God removed all his mantle. Murabizi ko Imana yambara. Do you know God, God is dressed? You read when Jesus, uh, Isaiah met with the Lord. And he saw the cloth of the Lord filled with the church, the temple. God came to fight with a human being. He hid behind God. Hallelujah. And he said, I'm going to cut your head. And feed to the birds. Today the whole world will know that the God of Israel is God. I was so amazed by David. He had a very amazing heart. He wanted to declare the Lord in the whole world. What do you want God to do for you and for what, what is the purpose of it? We have people whom God blessed. But they didn't give the comfort to others. They have their own car, they drive them. The one who is rich is rich on his own. Whoever God has fed is eating alone. There is no profit of God in the things he gave you. Because you didn't know he was the God of all comforts. Comfort. Who comforts you in your troubles. So that you can pass the comfort you have received from God. There is no profit in every food you ate. Food, the profit is in what you fed to the poor. The, the, the clothes that fills your closet, they have no interest. The interest is then among the clothes you gave to the poor. We have so many people who need comfort. We have so many people who are in need of comfort. God will not ask you money if he didn't give you money. There is just one a person who needs you to hug him and say, I love you. How, does, how much does it cost? It only requires you to understand that there are people who need comfort from you. Be, praise be to God of all comforts. Who comfort us in all our troubles so that we can give the comfort we have received from God? I was praying. May God give us to change the way we see things. Uh, may God to see, uh, to give us to see beyond the bad things we see and wonder beyond this what is in there I've been telling God to give me to see what will happen in this region I said Burundi, Rwanda and Congo when I see the bigger the troubles the day the enemy has brought when I see the poverty that doesn't have a name the battles that is always there 
The death that is unexplainable. And if you see everything that is happening in this world, you can even feel troubled. You can even wonder what, what's next. But I know for certain, either I'm living or I'm dead, God said there was a revival from this region that will change the whole world. The troubles we go through should bring, bring us closer to God. And we change our thinking and the ways we see. And we think that beyond what we see, there is a greater plan of God. And God will use us mightly. A person who survived the genocide against Tutsi. A person who survived from DRC. I know for certain when God sent him to Somalia, he will be filled with the power of God. He will not fear Al-Shabaab because he was dead and he was risen. What he needs is the golden power because he will be an evangelist who is not scared of death. Because that power is not here yet, you cannot understand what I'm saying. Do you know how John prophesied? He said, I'm baptizing with you with water, but whoever will come after me, he will baptize baptized with the spirit and fire. The Holy Spirit is a spirit. But there are some challenges that are compared to fire. To the fire we've been baptized with. We've been going through fire. When you survive, you go through the fire of troubles and you survive. All others fires want to do a thing to you. You do not understand In Hebrews it says, he turns the angels into wings. But his servants, he turns them into burning fire. Not Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were not scared to be burned by fire. Because he turns his servants into furnaces that gives power. Whatever we've been going through, it is not compared to the fire we've been baptized with. God will use it to change the world. We should change our vision, our sights over things. May be praised be the God of all comforts. He comforts us in all our trouble. For us to give the comfort we have received from God. If only God can touch your vision, your eyes. And you see that things that surround you, beyond them there is godly power. God told Abraham and he said open your eyes and wherever your vision will reach God will give him and his descendants even if Israel is a small country there is no place you can stand on and see the whole country Israel is compared to Rwanda there is no point in Rwanda where you can stand on and you see the sound of the Lord that means that eyes were not eyes were in the spiritual eyes and where he has reached his vision God gave him to God can never give you what you do not see. Where is your vision stops from? He will give you and your descendants. 
If Abraham could see in one kilometer, that will be his country and his descendants. We have uh, people who only see short. Their vision is compared to their vision is compared to the house to live in and they do not sleep outside their vision is to have a car that's so cheap but Isaiah he prophesied things before 600 years he said there is a son he will be called Imani the prince of peace. The prince of peace. Amen. What is the purpose of praying? If only we could have opened our eyes. We could be seeing the vision of 300 years to come. But because of the hunger issues, because of the hunger issues, our vision is only rice. Where your vision will reach, I'll give it to you. You and your discernments. May God give us to see beyond what we see and see beyond. Do not care about what is around you. Do not care about what is happening See beyond. God is going to change it. He's the God of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles. So that we can give the comfort we have received from God. It might happen that you are sitting in this service. You are not saved. Or you are saved but you backslid. And you can, you can wonder if God can comfort you. I want to respond to you, yes. Jesus gave a prodigal son. Yes. Who denied? He took his heritage and he went to spoil it. And he started to share with the feet. And he was hungry. The Bible says he came back to his senses. He came back to his senses. He said, I'm not sharing it with the feet. My father has a feet. I have a good news. For you. I am father's home for you. He has a love for you. He can receive you as a He can bring you close. He can give you peace. He can give you joy. People could not understand you. But in the Jesus' heart, you still have a place. He can receive you the way you are. His love is still abundant. His plans are still better. I want you to come back to your senses. Get fed with some, some things. Think about the bad life you were living in. Today you encounter the God of all comforts. The God who comforts people in their troubles. There is no greater trouble than you what you are. are. You are living in great troubles. Because you are doing things you do not agree with your heart. I know you don't like sins. You only lack power that can get you out. But among the things that the God of comfort has, there is also power over sins. Let's bow our head and pray. I want to pray with you. You want comfort. You desire comfort. It might be possible that your emotions are broken. You've encountered so many wounds. You've encountered so many wounds. I've brought you good news. He's the God of all comfort. He has the plan to comfort us in our troubles. For us to give the comfort. 
twahawe ni imana that you have received from god if you want you may stand on your feet and we intercede to the lord of all comforts to come with humurize to comfort you aho bikeneye where you need it haba mu mwuka wawe in your spirit haba mu bugingo bwawe in your soul haba no mu mubiri in your body ni imana nyiri humuri is the god of all hagarare ku maguru yawe stand on your feet ube ubu munyakuri be truthful tell God you need comfort Father in the name of Jesus we thank you for your God of comfort who comfort us in all our troubles who comfort us in our troubles for us to pass the comfort that we have received from God I thank you for you calling these men these women these women these ladies and these young men to comfort them on this noon I pray that you give your comfort where everyone needs a comfort bring your comfort Father of all comfort Father of all comfort bring your comfort comfort your people comfort your family comfort the individual Children, who is the people Sima, Visama, Aradashira, Data Trocosamuya to Kenanga, I got so you say, Hembura, Hembura, Gabo, Hembura, Gore, Hembura, Koga, Himara, the Tumba, Gire, the Tumba, Gire, the Tumba,